What's happening everyone? Dr. Michael Mola here. Today I got some BPC-157. I want to talk about what this peptide is, what it does, indications, doses, all that fun stuff. Stick around. All right, body protecting compound 157. What is this stuff? So BPC-157 was initially isolated from human gastric protein. And that's what actually makes this peptide actually uh, pretty unique compared to other peptides, proteins, hormones. Most of them you can't take orally because they're broken down by the gastric juice, the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. So this is one of the, the few peptides that you can take orally. Uh, it was first used in rats. They are using it on ulcers to help heal the ulcers and wounds in general. So how does this stuff work? What are we really seeing right far as the research? Um, right now, what we're seeing is that it increases what's called growth factor EGR1. That's early growth factor protein, aka, so also known as nerve growth factor induced protein. So the nerve growth factor induced protein, what's interesting about that is that this can also have some forms of neurotropic effects helping with the brain. Uh, we know the ner nerve growth factor induced protein also increases uh, neuroplasticity. And what's also cool about this peptide is that we know there are more neurotransmitters created in your gut than in your brain, well, specifically serotonin. So there's a huge um, component of what's going on in your gut to how it's affecting your brain. So if we're using these, this, this peptide to help with GI issues, there are definitely going to be some benefits for what's going on cognitively. Uh, BPC also induces angiogenesis. That's the creation of new blood vessels and acts on what's called the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor 2, VEGFR2. And why is that important? Because all throughout your body, you need blood. Blood is what brings growth factors and stem cells and helps heal the areas. And through angiogenesis, the creation of new blood vessels to throughout the body, that is going to allow your body to build blood vessels to damaged areas, to areas like, you know, growing. When you, when you put on muscle size, you create new blood vessels to create uh, and get more blood vessel, uh, get more blood to the, the muscles. So um, some exciting things going on there. Uh, and that's why when we look and think about BPC-157, we think about healing. Like I said, it was first used on, on ulcers. And one area that is very interesting for me is the leaky gut. That's, you know, the gut permeability. What that basically is, is the lining of your stomach. Your stomach has a, has a wall, right? uh, like a castle wall, and it only allows certain things in and out. And when that castle wall gets broken down, all kinds of stuff can get inside of your castle. And then your, you know, basically a fight breaks out and your body starts attacking all these proteins and different, you know, bugs, uh, uh, viruses and stuff that get inside your stomach. So being able, being, having a good gut lining is very important because when the gut lining falls down, kind of like what I was a second ago, is that it can also increase your chances for autoimmune diseases. So there might be some indications for using BPC-157 in autoimmune diseases, maybe like rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid disease, uh, but we are seeing it used in stuff as a UC and Crohn's disease. Uh, I talked a little bit already about the ang angiogenesis factor, so that's definitely going to help with uh, injuries, you know, as far as wound healings, damaged ligaments, tendons to bones, uh, muscle sprains and tears. And also we're seeing that the BPC works as an analgesic, so decreasing the pain after we have these injuries. And I kind of talked earlier about the increase in neuroplasticity coming from the, uh, the nerve growth factor induced protein. So we do know too that, and so I've used the BPC. I actually was using it for elbow tendonitis and I injected it subcutaneously local to the elbow. I'll talk more about that in a second. But one thing that I did notice, I was using it for my elbow. I noticed a decrease in like bloating and I noticed stomach kind of like digestion issues were alleviated, And I also noticed a cognitive boost somewhat of like a nootropic. So that was really cool. Uh, so how are people using this right now? I've, I've read a lot of forums and talked and seen some videos on YouTube about people using it locally, subcutaneously. So that's how I originally was using it. So I put it in the area of whatever, you know, like my elbow pain. Uh, I did uh, 15 units of a 2000 micrograms per ml solution. So it comes out to be about 300 micrograms. And I did that for three days in a row. And I do think that it helped my elbow out. 
a little bit. It wasn't like night and day and it just alleviated it. I've heard some pretty cool stories about that. Um, I have had one of my friends use it and uh, got rid of like carpal tunnel instantly. So, but I think that I did that for a while and then I started just doing it subcutaneously in my stomach. And I think that I'm having some of the same benefits and if anything, more cognitive and GI benefits as well. You can also, like I talked about earlier, actually take this peptide orally. And the doses for that is about 500 micrograms a day for 30 days. Again, I'm not giving medical advice here. I'm not telling you to take this for anything. This is just what I use with my patients. And I want to give more information to people out there who don't know about this therapy that might be able to benefit from it. But please don't take any of this as medical information. Don't blame me if you inject it in your kneecap and I don't know, something happens to you. Like, not my fault. Don't listen to me. You should be working with a practitioner or a doctor. And that's one of the things too with the peptides that I want to talk about is that it's it's really kind of a wild, wild west thing right now. A lot of people are buying them from websites that say research purpose only. And the real problem with that is if you're using those things and something goes wrong, because you don't know what that stuff is, it's bunk. I get my stuff from a, a compounding pharmacy. So if something goes wrong, like the, it comes back to the standards by which the compounding pharmacy created it and obviously how I'm using it in my patients. But if you're getting some bunk stuff and you inject it and you get some form of infection, uh, you know, heaven forbid you do an interarticular, it goes septic and then, I mean, you can die from that. I mean, that's, I'm being a little dramatic, but that has happened. So the problem is when that happens, kind of like with a federal, then the federal government's going to step in and start really regulating these things. And I would hate to see that happen. That would be a huge step back, kind of like with stem cells that's happening right now. So just be careful with what you're doing. Work with a qualified uh, doctor or physician when, when you're playing with these things. And anything else? Okay, contraindications. So you can have an allergy to it. I haven't heard of too many people. Some people are getting you know rashes and stuff. Uh, but, you know, cancer, I think, would be definitely something I would stay away from because we talked about the angiogenesis factor, the growth factor inducing stuff. So if you're having cancer, probably not the best idea to give it more uh, to give it a better blood flow. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have used BPC-157, leave a comment below. Fill people in what you guys are seeing out there. I've used it in a handful of my patients. I'm super excited. I'm going to continue to use it. Also, if you like this information, share it with people that you know. Uh, again, I want to really help spread this information. And if other people have experiences, I love learning um, about that as well. So stay up, uh, stay up to date with everything. Hit the subscribe button. Notifications, I'll, produce, I'll be producing more videos like this. All right. See you all later.